Good day, everybody. This is Lone Eagle 112358. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. I really do. Just gonna do a quick video right here. Yeah, I was watching stuff on D Day, right? Yeah, watch this. So I'm sitting here, I'm watching it. A lot of the stuff I watch, like I have two monitors, so what I do is like I'll take this. So let's pretend I'm working on a video and then I want to watch just the video to catch something that doesn't belong. I'll take this, drag this, and bring this to another monitor over here, blow it up full screen, and just let it play without volume. So I did that. So let's pretend this is on my other monitor. So I'm watching this, I'm doing a video, I'm editing, and then I look over here to see what's going on. I see these two guys are looking at this. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. <laughs> you should have seen. <laughs> you should have seen my fucking reaction. <laughs> oh, fudge. My ribs. Remember those aggressor tanks that our friend Lieutenant Vieta told us had just moved into position? They have been known to fool an observer from as little as 50 yards away. <laughs> Such equipment, combined with a few real tanks, gives the aggressor the appearance of a strong armored force at a fraction of the cost in men, material, and time. Yeah, you think this... <laughs> Brilliant. Honestly, this is brilliant. I love it. I love it. No, honestly, like, there is consistency in the things I was saying that every time I see a change, it seems to be for the better. Oh my god, are, is this what I think it is? Here, let's listen to this. Here, hold on. I don't care if YouTube owns me after this. I really don't care. This are equipment that adds to the realism. Sound and flash simulators. They give our forward observers a real target to look for. <laughs> From a distance, when the pneumatic gun position fires, it could be the real thing. <laughs> and when these battle noise simulators contribute their din to the maneuver area, you have the closest thing to combat without anybody getting hurt. Awesome. Uh oh, I just thought of something. Oh shit. That's not gonna look good. I mean, wow. Because, like, ever since I've been putting out these war videos, a lot of people have been saying war is fake. This is really gonna help those people, okay? I am not claiming that. I don't have a video saying that shit at all. It's just the viewers that are saying this. But I'm just saying, man. This is movie stuff right here that we're seeing. We just saw this guy. They're putting, like, this is for the flashing, right? To make it look like they're firing something. And then... <laughs> I have never... And then they got this guy here with his boom box. This is your first boom box ever, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Anybody getting hurt? Your first boom box. Check this shit out. Oh my lord. You know what that sounded like? That sounded like I was watching a uh, Donald Duck versus those two chipmunks. Little cartoon. 
<laughs> and they're like shooting like Christmas grenades at each other, whatever. You know that cartoon, the Christmas cartoon. Oh man. Okay, so this is known as the Ghost Army. Something I've never heard of before. This is their emblem. Something I've never seen before. All right. Never affiliated that with war ever in my life. This is the first time I've ever seen this. So, let's take a look into this. This is Wikipedia. I normally don't go on Wikipedia, but sometimes you just have to, man. You just have to. So, let's go. The Ghost Army was an Allied Army tactical deception until our unit during World War II, officially known as the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops, Operation Quicksilver. The 1,100 man unit was given a unique mission within the Allied Army to impersonate other Allied Army units to deceive the enemy. From a few weeks after D-Day, when they landed in France until the end of war, they put on a traveling roadshow, utilizing inflatable tanks, sound trucks, fake radio transmissions, scripts, and pretense. They staged more than 20 battlefield deceptions often operating very close to the front lines. The story was kept secret for more than 40 years after the war. Ah, uh, you see, there you go. The story was kept uh, for a secret for more than 40 years after the war. Mm -hmm. And elements of it remain classified. Now, here, I'll say this. Uh, you know, I, I could believe in things being classified. You know what I mean? I could believe in that. But that's huge. That's, that's something that's really big. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's, let's go on. The unit was the subject of a PBS documentary, The Ghost Army. So if you guys want to look into this some more, you could go watch this. I'm going to watch this. Definitely, I'm watching this tonight. Alright, so I'm going to end the video with this clip here. But, I mean, this is... These are Germans looking for the American troops, right? Look here. And then they come across this. All these fake tanks. Look at that. So by the looks of that, you'd be like, wow, that's pretty much occupy the Americans we can't go there and while they're doing that they've got the fake transmissions you know the fake tanks it's just brilliant like it's really brilliant because it goes with what I was saying in my past videos and you know, I'll keep repeating it is that it seems like with a lot of these changes not all of them because some of them are tricky to ooh my ears are ringing really bad it just seems that a lot of these changes are for the better you know, I know some of them are hard to deal with and explain, but a lot of them are not. And this is pretty much like right in your face why this is a better thing. Um, there's also the notion of like maybe some things were kept in the dark and are coming to light. Like this has always been that way and we're just now seeing it, which would explain a lot of other things in our past from World War Two up until now. So... There are many ways of looking at this. Uh, this is brand new, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to videos, all these videos, and I'm really excited. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this, but this is definitely a Mandela for me. I've never heard this before. I love you guys so very much. Love your neighbor, and guys, love yourself. One Eagle, one more 8 Peace.